Good morrow, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Pretty take thy shoes. Welcome to Romeo and Juliet, presented by the sixth graders of room B2. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you to please vibrate your cell phones. Please do that now. Good idea. I would also like to remind everybody to turn off the flash on their cameras. Will the players please take their places? Official video, so please don't get in the way of the video cameras back there. We now present Romeo and Juliet, written by William Shakespeare. Mothers. Thus said, good news. The valiant Paris DC boy loves. 
Tonight you will meet at the mask. What say you? Speak briefly. Can you like of Paris's love? Oh, look to like, and we'll even like to do. Hateful to myself, first an enemy to thee. 
Who's there? I've heard fewer than a hundred words from that tug, yet I know the sound. Are thou not Romeo and a Montague? Neither, fair maid, if either you dislike. They will murder you if they see you here. I have nice clothes to hide me from their eyes. And if he does not love me, then let them find me here. For my life were better, better ended by their hate than death postponed, living without thy love. How did you find this place? Love guided me here. I would have gone to the farthest sea to find it. You love me? Oh, gentle Romeo, if you love, pronounce it faithfully. Lady, by yonder moon, I swear. Swear not by the inconstant moon. But what shall I swear by? Do not swear at all. I have no joy of this contract tonight. It is too rash, too sudden, too unadvised. But if thy bed no love be honorable, thy purpose marriage, send word to thee tomorrow. And I'll come to thee, and all my fortunes if I could all lay. So thrive, my soul. Juliet, Juliet, by and by I come. <coughs> when tomorrow shall I send to thee? A dog of nine, my love. I will not <coughs> fail. Just twenty years till then. Good night. Sleep dwell upon thine eye. Peace be with you. Good night, good night. Party is such good sorrow. <laughs> And courteous and kind, 
and handsome Anne. Where is your mother? Where is my mother? She is in the house. Where should she be? How oddly thou replies. Oh, dear lady, is this the medicine for my aching bones? Henceforth, your own message is yourself. Oh, what says Romeo? Hurry to Farland to sell. There she's a husband to make you a wife. Oh, thank you, nurse. Thank you. Farewell.
These griefs, these woes, these sorrows make me old. Shame come to Romeo. Blister be thy tongue for such a wish. Will you speak well of him that killed your cousin? Shall I speak ill of him that is my husband? That villain Tibble would have killed him. But now he's banished. There's no measuring that word stuff. Hurry to your chamber. I'll find Romeo to comfort you. He'll be here tonight. He is hidden far from his cell. Oh, go to him. Give this ring to my true knight and bid him come to his last farewell. Romeo, come forth, come forth, dear old man. Far away to Kalani. Far, what news? Am I to die? Not dead. The banishment from Rome henceforth. I may as well be dead. There's no world without drawing a wall. Be patient, for the world is brought in life. This is your mercy, though you see it not. It is torture, not mercy. Heaven is here where Juliet lives. Every cat, dog, a little mouse may look upon my Juliet. Yeah, I cannot. This is mercy? Arise, good Romeo, hide thyself. Hark, who's there? Romeo, arise, and thou be taken. Run to my study. I'm coming, who knocks so hard? What's your will? Let me come in and you shall know my errand. I come from Lady Juliet. Walk on them. Nurse! Ah, sir, will dead stand in it all? Speakest thou of Juliet? How is it with her? Does she not think of me an old murder? What says she to our friends of love? She says nothing, sir, but weeps and weeps, falling down on her bed, crying your name and Tibble's. As if my name was shot from the deadly level of a gun, did murder her. Oh, tell me, Fire, what vow upon this anatomy does my name lie? <coughs> tell me so I can move the hateful part with my sword. Hold thy desperate hands. Art thou a man? Thy tears are womanish. Nurse, tell the lady, Juliet, that Romeo is coming. Yes, my lord, I'll tell my lady that you will come. Here, sir, a great you to give you. Make haste for goes for lady. How well my comfort is revived by this. Go hence, and to Doran to Mantua. There you shall live until we can find time to play your marriage, reconcile your friends, make part of the prince, and call thee back with twenty hundred thousand more joy than with that one for the sorrow. But then a joy for a joy calls out upon me. Farewell, friar. These times of woe afford no time to lose. Madam, good night. Commend me to your daughter. I will. I know her mind early tomorrow. What? Acquaint her here on Paris is love. Submit her that on this Thursday she shall be married to this noble earl. Will you be ready? Do you like this haste? What say you to Thursday? My lord, I would that Thursday were tomorrow. I'll tell Juliet. Good night. Day of joy, one that you expected not. Madam, in a happy time, what day is that? 
Marry the gallant young and noble gentleman Paris next Thursday morn. Tell my father I will not marry yet, and when I do, it shall be to Romeo, whom you know I hate, rather than Paris. Here comes your father. Tell him so yourself. What? Have you delivered to her a decree? Aye, sir, but she will have none of it. She is too proud. Does she not count herself blessed to raise such a worthy gentleman? Good father, I beg you on my knees. Hear me with patience, but to speak a word. You do not marry Paris on this Thursday. I will never acknowledge thee again. And whatever is mine shall never do thee good. I will not be forsworn. Oh, nurse, how shall this be prevented? I think it is best to marry Paris. His lovely gentleman and your first passengers will be dead as banished. Living here, you have no use of him. Speakest thou from thy heart? My soul, too. Well, Thou hast comforted me. Go in and tell my mother I'm going to Friar Lord to sell to make confession. <clears throat> oh, most wicked feet, I'll tell the Friar to know his remedy. If all else fails, I myself have the power to die. Your very poor. I have much money to give you. 
My poverty, but not my will.
Thank you. And now the cast and crew who have worked very hard to present Romeo and Juliet to you.